I'm going to go and um, uh, casually sit down on top of the chest. There Sneak are bad and... things behind here. Come on, Krikar! Coming! <laughs> now, if I if I pop an invisibility, I, do I, they would still be able to hear me, right? But they just wouldn't be able to see me? Uh, I think you they, get advantage or something, don't you? Or they... They can't see you unless you do certain like tasks and stuff. So, for example, if you go in there and you're step in like water or something, or if you're standing in water, it won't hide you because you'll they'll still be the indent in the water. But at the same time, if you go in there and you just don't say anything or you don't touch anything, then you're fine. So, with that I'm gonna go ahead and go invisible. Okay, with that, just give me a second. Uh, P P Peter, are you coming? Oh, um, well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Come now, I man. Still Adventure still awaits. There are other yeah, things in here that just, might want to kill us. Just so wait. In a second, this is going to take me a minute. I may have overdone it with this room, to be honest. I, 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 I do think the... <laughs> I don't know. It's um. There's only twelve spaces in that room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be responsible, and I'm gonna get rid of some of these monsters because I've had way too many in here. How many did you actually have in there? Ten. This is the ten room. <laughs> this, this is the ten room. What what's funny is uh, how did they get in there in the first place? The spiders I can imagine started small and grew big, but um, oh no, gosh, it's almost like they could open the door with hands. Could they? No, so far, none of them have opened the door. So far, you never given the chance to open them the the door. Uh, that, that seems to be a fun. You could knock and let them try to open the door to us. No, that's uh, I don't I don't knock. You guys get. Totally zombie here now. That's the right I mean, one. We have now. a token for a zombie. <laughs> we have a proper zombie, yes, but I like not a zombie. Zom not a zombie is one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> All right, totally zombie. Frick. <laughs> All right. And. Oh, that's it. We're gonna... uh, do you want a ton of them in there? <laughs> No, it's fine. I, I can add more. No, I get it. I, roll I get sneak it. Stealth. Uh, one second. All right. I'm adding more in there because apparently I did enough. <laughs> That's okay. It gets this room clear. Yeah, Harmon's just gonna cast his area effect spell anyways, and probably like uh, I, I don't know why y'all were complaining. It's gonna be like a quick like one spell thing for you guys. You're as small as this room is, I yeah. can't do I can't do one in that room. I mean, yeah. maybe I could with uh, the that corner one. You'd have to stand room. outside the room while doing it. Mm -hmm. The door's <laughs> not even open yet. So. <laughs> yeah. We are good to go. All right. So I'm going to stealth the door open again. All right. Open it. Open it just wide enough that I can squeeze through. Dirty 20. You're good. All right. And I'll back up a little bit so Harmon can get in there. Right, Simon so Zizzle, I'm, I'm here. Um, I'm going to survey the room. So, one, two, three, four. You're doing a lot of dancing in there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> He's going to distract in. them by dancing. And then I'm, I'm going to tell, uh, tell the group there's uh, one, two, three, four. There's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six monsters in there. We have a spider in the far corner. Uh, there's um, a skeleton and a zombie just to our uh, left. And then there's a skeleton, two skeletons and a zombie to our right. How how do we proceed? Is there any treasure? Uh, there appears to be two treasure boxes. Get from that! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can smell the treasure from here. <laughs> it's like a bloodhound. I figured you'd listen for it. Yes, I could, could, could be listening for it as well. Um, I don't know. It's All been right. working. Our plan's been working pretty well as it is. 
right, shall we go start combat now? And by right. that I mean, do you guys get your sneak attack round? One hundred percent. All right, then top of the round, Harmon, what you up to? All right, so Harmon's gonna walk, sneak back into here, um, <laughs> and then he's gonna cast Shatter again at level two to get these these guys here. Okay. Uh, um, shatter. Uh, this one. Come on, cast it. How come it won't cast? Oh, you tell us. It did. Um, twenty-two again. And then uh, the DC is what fifteen? No, nope. they all failed. <laughs> yeah, con, con. Now you roll the low numbers. I still got those to ten. Okay, I'm gonna go mute for a minute. Okay. So I take it that's the end of his turn. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah. <laughs> We're not waiting for. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just just wanted to double check. Um, all right. So Turth will move in here. Did, did Morbid say it was your turn? Yeah, that would be my. Oh, I guess that's true. How are we doing? There could be. There now, could Turth, you are correct. Turth, Turth, your turn. Turth, 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 turn now. Thank there you go. Thank now you can play your turn. Okay. Do you so think I'm gonna, skipping it? I'm going to move in there. I'm going to attack totally zomboid. Uh, now, do I have an advantage on this one? Uh, yes, it's technically a sneak attack. Okay. Holy cow. Oh, no. No, uh, I just, I, li- I, I rolled, I rolled a nat one and a two. <laughs> So technically, I got a nine. Uh, hold on, I'm checking their ACs because zombies have really low AC. That is a hit. That is a hit. <laughs> you rolled a, a hit. two and hit. <laughs> I rolled a two and hit. So I'm gonna attack with my rapier. Holy cow! So that's five damage. Uh, with the sneak attack. Sorry, I completely forgot to add their stats in here. One second. Okay. That's kind of important for me to add. No, no, no. It would be, yes. Well, there's only two of them left, so it's, you know. Yeah. Really not the end of the world if I forget it. Sorry, it was how much damage? So 20 damage total. I don't like this game anymore. I need it. I'm going to start throwing freaking dragons at you guys at this point. <laughs> y'all get, a, y'all get an, adult, an, an, an ancient ass dragon. That's how we get to the end. All right, so with my... Because I'm two-weapon fighting, I'm going to attack with my dagger, the Scalabro. Okay. That is a 13. Or... 13 to hit. All right, that is a hit. All right. With like just barely. Uh, seven damage. Okay. Is that all damage? Uh, yes. I think I can only do sneak attack once per turn. Almost positive about that. Oh, thank so gosh. I will move over here. Um, uh, b- 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 my, is my second attack a bonus action? Or is um, that the, it, with two, uh, two handed? Do I just get, I get the two? Sorry, it would, two weapons. Two weapon fire would be an automatic thing. Would be an automatic. Okay. So then, as a bonus action, I would like to. Open the chest and see what's inside. Gosh darn it. That's an action. Yeah, that's right. Is it an action? Okay. That's an action because you actually actively have to lift up the lid and it takes more than a few seconds. Um, it does say... Okay, that is actions. You are correct. I am looking at actions. Uh, then as a bonus action... You just throw yourself over the chest, mine? Uh, pretty much, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go... I'm going to go and... Um, uh, casually sit down on top of the chest. Okay. Uh, next up is Charon. Let's see. How do we get him off the chest? <laughs> there is another chest in there. That's all I'm saying. Yes, I just don't want you to have any of it. I mean, to be fair, there is the skeleton armed with the sword that's still next to him, so like... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna head over here. 
I, I like, think somebody's yeah. being very greedy. I went and I killed a mobster, and I'm just, you know, casually uh, finding a place to uh -huh, rest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I'm back. I use action to look. I use my action to look in the chest. <laughs> All right. Any second, I have to draw one of the cards. Can can you believe this, uh, Harmon? He's he's. You he's, can't talk he's out ignoring, turn. He's you cannot talk out turn. <laughs> he's ignoring combat. Just I mean. Turf, Turf, you don't have the talking rock. <laughs> I mean, they're they're all dead, aren't they? Well, no, no. Three point is still standing next to you. He doesn't know that though. Uh, well, you cast a spell that would uh, drop your invisibility, wouldn't it? Uh, it's. Is invisibility concentration? Um, invisibility concentration up to an hour, yeah. So then you would not be concentration anymore. Oh, I didn't know that. Dang it. Yeah, man. sorry. Uh, also, in the chest run, you find... Are you ready for this? No. I find a pen. Are you good well, now? Don't worry about it. You won't have pen to hold on to it very long. You have 15 emeralds. Alright. Uh -huh. A spell scroll level four faithful hound. Ooh. Nah. More pets. <laughs> <laughs> Ten plus three arrows. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A potion of clairvoyance. And oil of etherealness. Why is the pen stop to writing? Well, what was the last one? Oil of etherealness. All right, I shall call out to everyone that there is a bunch of stuff in this chest. I'm going to quickly go down the list. As a bonus action, this is my bonus action. I'm yelling all this stuff out. <laughs> um, and obviously, you know, attracting the uh, Skelebro 2.0 or 3.0's attention. That is 100% fine. Um, and then I, I shall... Um, let, well, Spooderbart has to see if he has his uh, his recharge of web first. He does not, unfortunately, because he was going to web turf. Um, because <laughs> I mean, as one does. Um, let's see. You know what? He's. I'm just gonna just gonna let him sit right here next to me. Actually, you know what? I, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell him. To sit on top of the chest and make sure Turf doesn't take anything. How could you accuse me of taking stuff? I'm not even over there. I didn't accuse you. I just said make sure he doesn't take anything. So he's going on the chest right next to you? Mm-hmm. Uh, Royal Animal Handling? Uh, that is a nine. All right, that was uh, a success. I, I was hoping and... he was going to steal the chest. <laughs> no. Uh, that is a success, and now the DC has also lowered. Woohoo! Wait, I should really write all this down. So, did Turf go through that chest that he's on right now? No, no, I didn't have enough action. Which, which is, I don't know why everybody's like so up in arms about it. <laughs> all right, Sweetbird so kind of climbs up on the chest and then kind of curls up and falls asleep. <laughs> he's snoozing. Um. All right, and that means next turn it is. Uh, Krikar. Ooh! Krikar's gonna go in here and hand axe the skeleton, bro. He's gonna attempt to. <laughs> gonna attempt to. <laughs> He's been trying his best, alright? Oh my gosh. Uh, that is a natural 20 and a 4... No, 16. You go, Krikar! So that is double dice, so that's 2, 3d6. Oh my gosh. So that's 13. Krikar just dealt 18 bits of damage with two Whoa. hand axes. Nice. The skeleton explodes. <laughs> Krikar, as he kind of lands the final blow, just, oh, ah, ah! <laughs> as, he, as the skeleton turns into dust. Yeah. Like, like you just weren't expecting it to happen. Um, I think it's Peter's turn now before um, yeah. we end. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to walk in the room, take a look around, and say, hmm. Okay, <laughs> look look uh, at all the carnage. Well, Sir Orc, take your spoils, then. <laughs> <laughs>